back guys welcome back to my channel biology basics in today's video we are going to talk about the pollination right what kind of a pollination do we have and its example everything will be covered with respect to the neat exam okay so let's begin fine so what is pollination simply the transfer of pollen grains to the stigma of a pistil means if this is a flower okay and these are what the male part and the female part fine right? so if this is one flower right and the anthers from this flower is going to transfer to the what male part that is the stigma so anther is being transferred from what male part to the female part that is what known as what pollination okay so what kind of a pollination do we have what kind of a pollination do we have basically we have a uh, two kind of a pollination that is known as what a self pollination and then second one is basically known as what cross pollination all right self pollination and cross pollination self from the word it is uh, clear that the pollination is going to happen on its own why what do i mean by this on its own see if the flower the flower is like this means the flower which have the both male part and the female part in it right so this is the flower which have which got what both male part and the female part okay so if the anther the mature anther right if the mature anther when it dehyscence and it burst out then it releases the pollen grain so pollen grain will come out and it will land to the stigma so such kind of a pollination is basically the example of the uh, self pollination right and then you have the different flower suppose in this case this is flower a and suppose this is the flower b so what happened when the when the anther i mean when the anther burst out and the pollen grain what releases the pollen grains are released and this pollen grain what transfer from one flower to the different flower this is the example of the word cross pollination right so self means what within the same flower cross means what it could be a different one okay so we have some categories also that we are, we are going to see in the next week's part okay so first let me just uh, draw a flower so if this is a flower and uh, yeah this is the female part having this now this is the male part okay i'm not going uh, to draw the rest of the uh, accessory part of the flower it's simply just the male and female part of the flower and in this is if we see this so here in this case i'm simply talking about if the anther is being released and the and what it uh, anther uh, the pollen grains are being landed to the same stigma such kind of a pollination is known as what autogamy Auto means what self. So such kind of a pollination is what auto gamy, right? Then let's talk about the another one. Okay. Then if you have, if you have what this thing, right? Means two female part, which is there on the same plant, right? Okay, same plant. So here, if you have this. Male part here is the male part, male part and the male part. Fine. So what's happening here? See, if the anther is being released, right? <coughs> Sorry. If the anther is being released from here, the uh, this is the plant B and this is the plant A. So if the anther is being released from the plant B. And it will go and will land to the stigma of the plant A. Such kind of a pollination is what known as xenogamy. Xenogamy, right? Xenogamy. Here, both the plant is different. Although I mean, if you just talk about a species level, the species is the same. But here, I'm simply talking about if this is suppose if this is a rose flower. So this is also a rose flower. This is just just example, right? So this both are rose flower, but here the from the rose B to rose A. That is what known as xenogamy. Okay, all right. Then if I just talk about this thing, right? Suppose here the anther, anther from this is being landed to this, right? Means here in this case the plant is same. Here plant is same, but but what the flower? But the flower is different, right? But the flower is different. That pollination is known as what? Ethnogamy. Okay, ethnogamy. So please mind this ethnogamy is a kind of a pollination, right? If functionally, functionally, ethnogamy shows 
what functionally you doing and show what cross pollination cross pollination right but we just talk about the what genetically we just talk about the genetically uh the epigram is what uh, self pollination self pollination all right so what i just uh, just discussed just to let's summarize so simply in this case pollen from here landed on the same flower autogamy different flower right different flower and uh, this from this uh, from the, from this flower pollen grains are being landed to this uh, this a and this is known as xenogamy but if we just talk about this uh, from this flower to this flower right or from this flower to this flower this vice versa so this is known as what gidnogamy gidnogamy is actually your cross pollination i mean a functionality is cross pollination means first means what a different uh, different flower right but if you just go about it genetically it is self pollination because plant is same the plant is same so that's why the genetic makeup is both uh, the same for the uh, for the plant right so that's why this is what genetically self pollination right all right so we have some kind of a plant i mean uh, we got some kind of a plant which basically uh, want want to go for the self pollination okay so let's talk about the uh, those plant which basically want to go for the self pollination okay so when we just talk about the pol uh, self pollination self pollinating plant and what kind of a adaptation they are doing uh, adaptation they are doing uh, just to go for the self pollination okay so in this case the first thing uh, will will come under is this that is the monocleaning okay what do i mean by the monocleaning right means uh, those plant which basically want to go for the self pollination they should be have what monocleaning means means what means means flowers flower should be what should be bisexual right bisexual so that's why the uh, bisexual means what in one flower both the male and female and they need what uh, male and female reproductive part is there so that is what your bisexual flower so that is what the adaptation for the self pollination okay second kind of our adaptation uh, is your what homo homogamy okay uh, what do i mean by the homogamy right when both the sex organs of a flower mature at the same time okay the, what i just told you uh, both male and female sex organs that is the reproductive part uh, sex organs organs of flower they both mature at same time right mature at same time so if both will mature at the same time so this is known as what homogamy why this is important it is um, it is this is very obvious that if this is a flower and this is the what uh, the male and female part if this is mature and this is not mature so it is quite obvious that when the uh, anther will be able to burst out and the pollen grains are released although the pollens are mature enough and it will land on this little stigma but the stigma is not that much i mean it is not mature so it won't be able to uh, what, uh, do some kind of a chemical talk and it won't be able to what go for the fertilization or not so so pollination won't uh, won't, won't happen right so just to, just for the pollination to occur both male and the female organs should mature at the same time so self pollination uh, i mean flowers they go for the homogamy means the they want what the both male and sex uh, female sex organs what to mature at the same time okay uh, we have some kind of example like 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 if i just talk about the rice or if i just talk about the wheat like uh, rice wheat or the potato or uh, like some of the example etc so these are the example which basically show the homogamy okay uh, the third kind of adaptation let's talk about okay so this is the third kind of adaptation that is the cleistogamy 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 all right so what is cleistogamy uh, okay in short if i just talk about we have some kind of a flower and the bisexual flower right uh, they are formed and which never open throughout their life such flowers are called what cleistogamous flowers okay so cleistogamy is seen in the what cleistogamous flower cleistogamous flowers right so we 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 got what some kind of a flowers we have some kind of a flower which are bisexual which are bisexual but but they but they never open but they never open throughout their life never open throughout 
their life. Obviously, if flower is not blooming, this is this is for sure obvious that the flower is not blooming. It simply means that the pollination, I mean pollination by the cross pollination is what uh, is being avoided, right? So, cleistogamy are those flowers which basically what all the the especially the bisexual one, which have both a male and female organs, they are mature enough, but it's not blooming. So if it's not blooming, it is obvious that it is not going for the cross pollination. So we got the examples. We got the examples like the viola. Okay, viola, and then second one is the come, comelina, viola, comelina, right? And we have one more one, uh, the groundnut. Uh, groundnut is also the example which basically shows the clistro, uh, clistro candy, right? Okay. So viola, comelina, and the groundnut are the examples which basically shows such kind of thing. all right okay if i if i just talk about the viola and uh, if i just talk about the viola and uh, comelina so these viola and comelina right uh, they they have two kind of flower they have two kind of flowers okay uh, the one which opens the one which opens and the and what the some some do not some do not open right some do not open okay so what i just told you clistogamous flowers are those flowers which are always uh, closed it means uh, the bisexual flowers they, those they are the what bisexual flowers but they do not uh, but they never open so like so those are what the clistogamous flowers but in in the case of the viola and the comelina you got two kind of flowers which uh, some some opens some do not why some are opening just to go for the Mm, variability right so the cross pollination is simply gives you the uh, variation right so th th that's why they are opening right okay so clistogamous flowers are, are always closed and it is sure so clistogamous clistogamous flowers are always always closed right and why they are always closed because they they want to they want to ensure ensure assured seed set assured seed set means like uh, if you are uh, for sure that if you have the bisexual flower and bisexual flower is not opening i mean it is for sure that the uh, it is going for the pollination that's why i want the assured seed set okay and uh, then if i just talk about this the second thing right uh, the gas mo gamas gas mo gamas right say these flower they open and uh, they try to try to go for what uh, genetic variability genetic variability okay so that's what uh, i told you that the viola which is also known as what common pansy common pansy right and the comelina they both got two kind of flower the flower which opens that flower which opens is what and some which do not open the flower which do not open are known as what clisto gamma star and the flowers uh sorry uh, the star which do not open is the clisto gamma star and the flower which open is known as what asmo gamma star asmo gamma star okay asmo gamma star means okay so why uh, why some flowers are opening just just because what for the genetic variability genetic variability is uh, quite important right okay so that's what uh, we uh, we discuss about the self pollination okay let me just show you the image of uh, of those um, of the viola okay uh, yeah this is the uh, image of the word viola the common pansy which basically some flowers are opening the above the above the ground and something like okay so let's get back to this now let's talk about the uh, cross pollination let's talk about the cross pollination okay uh, what do you think i mean uh, we we got some kind of a flowers which basically go for the cross pollination so why some plants prefer uh, the cross pollination so we some plant they adapt right i mean the adaptation uh, the adaptation uh, for what cross uh, pollination we got some adaptation for the cross pollination so the first adaptation for the cross pollination uh, category is the first one right the first one that is the unisexuality means flower uh, let me write the diclini or the unisexuality in the flower prefer to be what unisexual means unisexual simply means what either the male part or the female part in the or the female part in the flower right so this is the flower and this is the flower so either the male part or the female part in one flower that's what the unisexual
discussion with the then if i just talk about the uh, second adaptation so second adaptation is what mono issues class okay mono means what uh, one issues means what home so you have we have one home okay so if you have one home what will happen male and female will be present on the same plant but flowers of this plant is unisexual okay what do i mean by this suppose this is one plant right so here the one flower is your uh, male uh, the another flower is your female so one flower one flower is male and another flower is your male so means the flower is unisexual but it is present on the same plant. that's what one home but uh, in one home you have the male and you have the female but the flower is what unisexual unisexual flower but present on the same plant okay uh, we have we got the example for the monosexual uh, flower like if you just talk about the coconut uh, coconut we have the we have the maize we have the we have the cucurbit and then uh, we have the castor also we have the castor also we have the uh, that's it okay that's it okay then we have if i just talk about the mm, there is one more term that is related uh, to to this that is known as what uh dioecious dioecious so dioecious let, 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 let's discuss about the dioecious also so dioecious is what two and dioecious is home so you have the two home so those plant i mean uh, the may uh may present on different plant right male present on the different plant and the female uh, it's present on the uh, different plant. okay so in this case flowers are what flowers are what uni unisexual right unisexual and in this case only xenogamy only xenogamy is possible because uh, when the male and female flowers are present on the different plants so that's why only 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 just write the only xenogamy is uh, possible in this case and hence the gitno gamma is not possible gitno gamma is not possible but here it's gitno gamma is possible because the plant is same so here from here to here uh, that that thing can be happen but here the uh, the gitno gamma is not is a possible but not the uh, sorry zeno gamma is possible but not the gitno gamma okay so we have the example for the date from yeah uh, okay let me just write it so we got the example for the date from uh, the examples are the papaya and the uh, date farm and the date farm are the examples which is basically related to the uh, dioecious di plants okay so i hope uh, is this clear okay now let's talk about something uh, more adaptation which is basically related, related to the um, cross uh, cross pollination so the third one uh, is your dico dico gamma okay dico gamma simply means what we have we got many bisexual flowers and uh, the stamen and the carpel of the flower do not mature at the same time right but okay so suppose if this is the uh, flower right and this is the we, this is the bisexual flower so in this case what what is happening we got the male and the female uh, male, male and female but this male male suppose in this case male mature uh, male mature uh, earlier earlier uh, than the female than the female part so in this case what what is going to happen obviously uh, the male the male is mature earlier than the female so if the male is going to what the high the i mean anthra is going to the high and it is going to release the pollen grain and that pollen grain will fall on the stigma and obviously when the, when the stigma is not mature it is not going to go for the um, for the chemical talk and all right so in this case uh, the pollen release and the stigma okay uh, let me write the pollen release pollen release and stigma and the stigma receptivity is not synchronized receptivity not synchronized not synchronized right so in this case either uh, the pollen release before the stigma right uh, or the uh, um, i mean uh, either the pollen release before the stigma becomes receptive or the stigma becomes more uh, becomes receptive much before the release of the pollen okay now uh, based on this we, we got the proto antery where the uh, anther matures earlier than the okay based on this we got two things that is the proto antery and then the second one is what i mean in this case male matures first earlier than the female here the female matures earlier than the 
come in. Okay, now the another kind of adaptation which is basically seen in the case of the the flower, which is basically they want to go for the cross pollination, is the hetero styli. Hetero styli. Hetero styli simply means what? This is a, this hetero styli act as a this hetero styli act as a what? Morphological band. Morphological. Morphological band. Uh, what is what is happening in this case? See a difference, uh, difference in size of long stamen, right? Difference in size of the long stamen and short style. That's what your hetero style is. Right? Stigma and anther phase at different position. So if this is the flower, and suppose this is the anther and this is the stigma. So here the if the anther is quite small i mean uh, so if the pollen is released it is quite difficult to the, for the for the pollen grains to go in and like this right it's quite difficult right so if if that kind of a thing is basically your hetero style where the stigma and the anther face at different position so that the pollen cannot uh, come in contact with the stigma of the same flower so such such hetero style can be seen in the prime in the prime flower and Okay, so then, and the last one, and the last, uh, the fifth one, is the the uh, is the I mean adaptation for the uh, cross pollination is the self sterility, self sterility, self sterility. I mean, it is being uh, shown by the plant itself. Like uh, they they I mean uh, these still self sterility is basically what self incompatible, self incompatible. Mm, compatible uh, device you can say self incompatible device or you can simply say outbreeding tomahamkara outbreeding outbreeding devices where what is happening see if this is the flower and this is the uh, anther so both are mature enough and anther uh, got the hyacinth and the pollens are being released now what is happening uh, at the stigma so if, if this is the surface of the stigma what is going to happen uh, and this is the uh, let me change the color okay if, and th this is the anther so what is going to happen this is anther uh, anther is quite mature enough right that's why uh, i mean uh, this is the pollen pollen right so now what is happening now wh what is happening uh this anther uh is being uh the hyphen and the pollen is being released now it's it's there on this stigma but they are not able to uh contact or, or i mean have some kind of a chemical talk with the stigma so that's what the self in uh, sterility or the self incompatibility shown by this stigma I mean, where the uh, male part male gamete and the female uh, female reproductive part i mean they are not able to have some kind of contact and this they are not able to uh, if they if they are not able to have, have some kind of contact they won't allow this uh, the pollen uh, pollen jump pore to germinate and form what go to a deeper inside so this won't happen and the self sterility is uh, is being shown right so okay i hope this is clear uh let me just show you the table i mean which is uh, i mean showing me the comparison between the autogamy gamy, and xenogamy okay pollen start transfer on the stigma same flower gamy, pollen is transfer on the stigma of the different flower right but the uh, but the, the plant uh i mean the plant could be same but here the plant is different okay so this is the quite a uh, summarized way okay i hope uh, this uh, pollination is uh, clear if you have any doubt anything i mean any query uh, you can just uh, comment down i mean in the comment section right okay uh, if you like the content please uh, consider it as uh, i mean liking it subscribing it okay thank you